Hello guys, it's me again. So I'm glad you're here again. Uh, last time we made our launchpad blink in a bunch of different ways. On today's lesson, we're gonna also we're gonna make a blink, but we're gonna be using something new that is called conditionals. Those are really good and really useful, and the, uh, they're gonna be really useful in the future. Even though if you're gonna keep going with the projects of the MSP430, and uh, they you really need to know them to actually keep going with the programming stuff, um, whichever program you choose. So, first thing first, let's start with the most simple of them, uh, with the conditional branch of if, the if statement. How this works? If certain condition is met, perform a certain action. That condition is going to be on the parentheses, then perform an action as, as, as always, after every action, there's a semicolon. An example will be if tired, go to sleep. The action needs to be answered with a, with a yes or no or true or false. Remember, that's how computers actually react and respond to, to questions. So if tired can be answered with a yes or a no, uh, that's good. So that works. But what if we want to be more specific and we want to add more conditions to our code? We have we have more we have more conditions that we can put and they are actually able to add some energy they are really pretty right in there. So these are some of them. Make sure to write them down. Uh, here are the signs that actually works. So we have equal, not equal, less than, less than or equal to greater than, greater than or equal to. So this become really useful and it gives you a, a lot of flexibility on what you want to do with your code. So they're really good. Make sure to learn them and master them. So an example of that, and and it's going to be the same example that we're going to be using a, a, the whole lesson right now for today, is going to be a temperature example. So we start with void and then we open the bracket as always. Then if Remember, inside of the parentheses is the condition, the condition that is supposed to be met. If the temperature is greater than or equal than 70, turn the air conditioner on. And after the action, uh, semicolon, and oh, oh, close the bracket. Then, if the temperature is less than 70, uh, turn the air conditioner off and close the uh, close the bracket. All right. So there we have individual conditions, but what if we what if we want multiple conditions to be met or we, we want something else and uh, we have these ones uh, these are multiple conditions if we have more than one so the first one I want to tell you about is the and here is the design and uh, how this works is if uh, if all the conditions are met then the computer reads true or yes uh, this one is or this works uh, as the way as just if at, at least one one condition is met of all the conditions there is going to read true and this not uh, it reads true if none of the conditions is met all right so an example will be this one void open the bracket if the temperature is greater than or equal than 70 air conditioner on then semicolon heater off right so now we're gonna use the multiple condition so if the temperature is greater than or equal than 60 and the temperature is less than 70 this means that it's gonna be it needs to be between 60 and 70 it needs to satisfy both conditions to actually work then that condition is gonna turn off and the here is gonna be off also but so if the temperature is less than 60 that condition is gonna be off and the heater on now I want to talk to you about the else statement, right? Is all this part? So this is called the if else statement because it's pretty much just a variation of the of the if. It's a more flexible if. Uh, how this works is if actually a certain condition is met, and uh, you perform certain action, but you have the option that if that condition is not met, you perform something else. In this case, perform action B. So an example, if hungry, eat, uh, else, go to sleep. So in this case, we have if the temperature is greater than or equal to 70, perform certain action. And uh, that in this case will be turn the air conditioner on and the heater off. But else, perform action B, that it will be, 
if temperature is greater than or equal than 60 the air conditioner off and the heater off then we close we close the bracket that is of the of the if and we can add another else now else if the air conditioner is off uh, then else turn the air conditioner off and the heater on uh, what is this doing so if the temperature is greater than or equal than 70 it's gonna do this right so, but if we get to this part of the code else that means that the temperature is less than 70 so here we're telling it that in, if it's greater than or equal than 60 then this means that this part all this part is gonna be between 70 and 60 but else is gonna do this this means this is just gonna happen you're just gonna go into this part of the code just if the temperature is less than 60 all right so now let's go to another function and this one is called while so this one is really useful in cases that you don't actually know how many times you want to perform certain action uh, in that case you will use while so while a condition is met uh, it's gonna perform keep performing that action because this is a conditional loop is gonna go on and on all, all over and over again so an example will be while still hungry take a bite on this example you keep taking bites until you're not hungry anymore so going back to the temperature example while temperature is bigger than 70 air conditioner turn it lower uh, like I said we're gonna use it in this case because we we don't know when the temperature is gonna go over than 70 we don't know how many times it's gonna go like that or what time so we use a while function the while conditional another example will be the for loop I will say this is a tricky one and it's a little longer that that's why it's kind of harder so what this does it makes the it makes this the code to actually perform for to a certain certain amount of times when that this is really specific, really useful when we know how many times we want to perform a certain action so in this case we're gonna perform it 10 times so we need to start with 4 open the parentheses this is the condition that is gonna be met mm -hmm. so it's the, we start always with int counter equal to 0 then semicolon counter less than 10 semicolon counter plus plus then eat a slice of cake so what is this doing uh, the for loop is divided into three three clauses uh, that is this one this one and this one each divided by a, by a semicolon so pretty much what it's doing is that we st we're starting from zero and we're gonna keep going until it until it goes to 10 and we're gonna keep going one by one that's what the plus and plus uh, stands for it just go up by one uh, so we start with zero and we we do it until we get 10 so we pretty much we perform the action for 10 times they eat a slice of cake 10 times and when you get to 10 10 is not less than is not less than 10 so the actual condition is met and it stops all right so now let's use that to make our LED blink and uh, this is gonna be really fast guys so just pay attention really uh, I appreciate you being here so we start as always with voice setup and uh, the pin mode like I said that on the last video it just to initial initialize a digital pin as an output in this case pin number two remember that pin if you check it on the map of the MSP430 that's the red LED and we're gonna set it as an output now we go to the loop and we're gonna be using the for loop for this project so here you can see pretty much that we we're gonna make it blink 10 times because we have a 10 here and we're gonna start from zero so if we start from five we, we just make it blink five times uh, so we, st we start with an open bracket uh, like always and we start with the for loop the condition that is gonna be met so we're gonna make it blink for 10 times then we open we open another bracket and this is gonna be the action that we're gonna perform for this amount of times so this is the, the regular code to make the, the LED blink uh, turn it on for 300 microseconds then turn it off for 300 microseconds and so pre, uh, this code is gonna perform this action 10 times before it goes to this part of the code so it performs this 10 times then it jumps to this part 
So what is this doing? This is just to get the, co the code stuck in there. Because otherwise, if we didn't put this, the while parent is one, remember that the loop goes over and over again. It's gonna blink for it's gonna blink for ten times, then blink or ten times, ten times, ten times. So pretty much it's never gonna finish, and you're not gonna be able to see the difference, the the stop from ten times. So once it gets here, it gets stuck. So it just ends like that. So let's go ahead ahead and upload the code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. So here's the code for you. Uh, go ahead and write it down and try to analyze it. Uh, I will explain what, what is it doing, but if, if you have some questions or anything, just let me know, write a comment. And I want to put an, a variation of this code so for you to see it. It's this one, same thing. Uh, we set up the pin the red LED as an output but here we're gonna be using the while statement so we initialize with 0 and while e i is less than 10 we're gonna perform this action while i is less than 10 we're gonna perform it for 10 times so once we perform all this thing we're gonna add uh, 1 to the i so we're gonna have one and then we're gonna perform it again and add another one until we do it 10 times, until we have a 10 over here. So once it finished, we jump to the, to while. So now let me show you. Uh, we put 14 to change the red LED to the green LED. Just to make it a little different. And also, well first let's, let me show you this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. So we need to put the while because we're on the loop. But if if we go ahead and just copy this, just copy this into the into the setup. Open our bracket and then close it and erase all this. It should work fine because uh, on the setup it doesn't repeat over and over again. Uh, that should work and, in, and we don't have to put the while. So, guys, uh, I appreciate you being here. So, if you have any suggestions, any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'm gonna keep uploading videos with basic videos. Pretty much these are lessons for those who actually doesn't know too much about microcontrollers and coding. So I hope you learned something. I hope you like it and I hope to see you around. Have a good day. Bye.